here I have on October 1st, 2015, at about 11 a.m., two <coughs> TV cord. <coughs> one PWM. And I got the wine going on this side, out, the wine on this side. Now I got these looped here, joined in the center, looped. Then power out coming out from these cores. There's about, on each winding, no matter which one, I got about two to three ohms wound. This side, it's all by filer. This side is quad filer. And when I power it up, I only get two or three volts on the multimeter. <laughs> I don't get it, just two or three volts. There it is. That's on the side that, that works with the LED strip I got here. It lights that LED strip. Place the strip up. The two are violet and one is red, and it's only 2.9 volts AC. Of course, these windings for the generator are loosely, well, I mean, they're far apart and they go over the whole coil. Maybe if it acted like a, a Tesla coil primary and have beginning beginning here, it might boost up the voltage, but this one's flip-flopping back and forth. Uh, it's going back and forth this way, yeah, because it's an AC generator. These are transistors. So, I ran it on here. I put this AC generator on here. No, not this one. And this little transformer, which is 680 ohms on one side and 8 ohms on the other. So I only got 168 volts out of it and it lit the strip up really well. So this very high voltage at microamps, can you measure the amperage on it? But these got warm for, for this TV core, but didn't get warm at all for that transformer. And when I ran the high voltage TV core over here for the Kaku Chubanidze coil, it got a little warm running this coil here. This goes to positive, and these go to each side of the transistor collector. Same here. And uh, I don't know. Couldn't get much out of it unless I put a. Uh, I'm going to try to put a capacitor on each side, see if it boosts up the voltage. Then I'm going to cut the camera off here.